All right, everybody. What I have here is an Asus transformer uh, mounted into the dash of a 2005 Mustang GT. And the way I've done this is I've actually taken the um, original plastic that the Asus came in in the package this plastic frame here and I've molded it and cut it so that it'll fit up against the dash and I saw somebody who did this with an iPad and actually integrated it back into the dash but I didn't want to do that because I wanted to be able to take the tablet out and use it as a tablet so this has kind of been challenging trying to figure out exactly how to do this if I unplug the audio out and the power plug the pad will then um, that can then be removed from the frame and as you can see I have the original uh, radio unit behind it now that my car is an 05 so there is no auxiliary input for this radio so I have another head unit on order it is going to be just a media center, AM FM tuner. There's not even going to be a CD player in it, so it's pretty inexpensive. So once I get that, install that, I'll be able to run an audio out from the pad from this little opening I've made here. And here's the best part. If I wanted to completely lose this altogether, this is 100% removable because all I did was Velcro it to the back. But when it's actually in the vehicle... And secure it in place. Um, I just went for a drive and I also put this piece of plexiglass on the bottom so that you could sit it down in there so it won't fall out. But as long as it's in there and the audio cable is in the top here which keeps it from popping out from the top. Uh, I just went for a drive and um, ran the hell out of the car. Uh, went for a couple of really um, hard accelerations and it didn't move an inch. But when it's actually in the car Actually looks quite factory stock. There really aren't any rough edges. And come around the other side here. <laughs> Help if I unlock the door. If you come out around the other side, again, looks like it was meant to be in there. So very, very cool the way that it's laid in there. And you don't even see this opening for the audio in as long as the cable's in there. So anyway, opinions are welcome. I don't have the finished product project or product yet. So I don't have the uh, radio installed and it can't run through the radio, but once I have that, I'll be running all my radio functions from the tablet. I'll also be running Torque using an OBD2 uh, by Bluetooth. So I'll be able to monitor, monitor the engine and uh, all functions, so we'll definitely get a look at that. Uh, but yeah, that's my project so far. And I'll be posting a video once I get everything put in. Thanks for watching.